So I just weighed the roosters, and that's why I've only got two left up in this pen. Since I found an egg, I know that these ladies are ready to go. So I weighed all the roosters and I put the biggest one with them because I wanted to get bigger quails. I know they're still going to grow, but one whole ounce is a pretty big difference when you're talking quail. <laughs> so I was going to show you how I weighed them. So I have my regular kitchen scale here and I made this little clamshell wire basket from the dollar store. These baskets were, well, now $1.25 each from Dollar Tree, and then two zip ties to make a hinge, make it loose so it can open. And then I put two on the front, because I originally thought I had to clip it together to keep the birds in there. But once they're in there and they see they're fully like encased in wire, they kind of just chill. They kind of just calm down. So, once you get your wire basket and you know what you're going to do, make sure you're in the right units, which I'm doing pounds and ounces, and then you want to tear it so it doesn't um, weigh the basket as well. And then we get to one of our quails, just to demonstrate. This is hard to do with one hand. So I actually clip my cage doors up with this little S hook and it works on all the cages because you just hook it to a different wire. So I'm going to grab a roux. I know you guys are just tired of me grabbing you, huh? Okay, here's a roux. Nice roux. Probably not going to get this on film. Put him in. Close it. So just put him in. Close it. See, he calms down. He chills. And he's 8.5-ish. So yeah, he's just chilling for now. And then it's just real easy to pick up the whole thing with the birdie in it. I turn it sideways into the cage. And it opens, and they're free. And that's it. Very stress-free. Well, as stress-free as you can get for doing that. And then what I did to, because they all look the same, really. I had a couple, two different buckets, really. And then I weighed one, put it in there, put the little cage over it. And then I knew that one was like 8.4. This one ended up being like 9.6. And then the last one was like 8.4 again. So I just put him straight back in the rooster cage. And then I put the, the biggest guy in with the hens. And then, lastly, put the last one back in. So yeah, that was how I weighed my ruse. Because I saw that it was going to be a little tricky to weigh them. Because they're just so light. And then I saw someone, I can't remember who, might be Katernik's Corner. They made like a video on making a little weighing box. I'm like, okay, well I don't have that much extra wire. And I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw these bats. I'm like, oh, that's perfect size for one quail. Actually, I got them to collect the quail eggs, and I got two. I'm glad I got two because it makes the perfect, the absolute perfect quail weighing basket. Anyway, that's it for that video. Just a quick video on an easy way to weigh the quail and cheap. If you don't want to buy another roll of wire and stuff, you can just get these cheap wire baskets from the dollar store. DIY yourself a basket, that'll work perfectly fine. And if you need to use those baskets for something else, just clip the zip ties. I mean, you only really have to weigh them, I guess, when you want to find their butcher weight or if you want to see which one's the biggest. But yeah, those are the quailies. They survived their first night outside. I think they're much happier out here. It's a lot cooler out here than in my house. I don't have AC in my house. So, it's actually better for them to be out here. Okay. That's them.